All right, so um, I have been dealing with quite a few issues with my Wi-Fi network uh, recently. Um, basically, here's the story. I have Comcast Xfinity. We just switched, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. And, um, yeah, it was working all right. But I had this uh, Aris router that they gave us. It's out there. I'll go ahead and show you guys. Um, but anyway, um, I have this Aris router that was out there and we were using and you know those things are kind of shit so I figured well hey it's a good idea why don't I buy new networking equipment so um, I'm actually gonna go out here guys and show you what's the dealio so um, behind here uh, well actually let me go get a flashlight one second um, I bought a new cable modem and a new router um, just thinking it would improve wireless network performance uh, rather than degrade it like it's been doing. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have this net, little Netgear um, cable modem there. I don't know if I can uh, show you guys. It's right under there. And um, yeah, that's what's providing our uh, internet from the coaxial cable. And then I have this um, Asus... Uh, I forgot the model number. I think it's the RTN65R or something. Um, so there it is. There's the router. My camera's not wanting to focus, but that's it. This is a uh, dual band router. Uh, I have the 5 gigahertz band disabled. Um, I'm actually doing a lot of testing currently with this wireless network. So yeah, I have the 5 gigahertz band disabled right now, but there is the router. It has uh, two USB ports on the back, so if I wanted to hook up a network drive, I could do that. But yeah, there it is. So that is the main network setup behind, uh, you know, our lovely TV here. But all the way back here in my room, um, I've been having wireless connectivity issues uh, because out there it works fine because my mom's computer is right over there in the living room. But over here. Um, you know, I don't know what it is because my computer is right there and it's got a straight shot to the router. But I don't understand uh, why I've been getting so many uh, issues lately. Basically, the internet has just been cutting out every few minutes um, consecutively for a while now. So, um, I've tried many different solutions. I have my, uh, excuse the wires, but I have my Della Damo here and I've been using that. Uh, out there, what I did was I took, his ether I took an Ethernet cable, I hooked it straight up to the back of the router, sat out there and used the internet for about 30 minutes, and it was working perfectly fine. There was no issues. Um, Ethernet works great. Problem is, though, is that, uh, you know, it's not really an option to run Ethernet cables from out there into here, just because you have to hide it under the floors and all that. Screw that, I'm not doing that. So, yeah, I got the next best thing. As you can see back here, it is uh, the little router that could. These, this is probably the most famous router ever. This is the Linksys WRT54G, and I have mine set up as a wireless repeater bridge. And what that means is that basically it is, you know, communicating with the main router out there, and it is repeating and strengthening the wireless signal. So, um, basically, it's an access point, but at the same time, it's requiring it's a um, strengthening both the, the wireless signal. So, if you go into my computer here, one second, you can see I go into Wi-Fi, uh, the portal is my SSID, there is the router out there, and then here is the portal extended, which is this one. So I'm connected to that. And so far it's been working pretty good. Um, I haven't had any issues so far, uh, mainly because the router is like six inches from the computer, but yeah, it's been working fine, and if I go with my Moto G here, one second, and I open uh, Wi-Fi Analyzer, you can see that there is the extended network, there is my main network, and you can see the extended network is boosting the signal uh, quite a bit. So, the combined signal from both of those networks uh, is giving me uh, reliable wireless connectivity. You can see that, you know, the signal strength for the regular uh, network isn't quite as good. So I'm connected to this one back here and it's been a lot more reliable. As you can see I have a lot of Wi-Fi networks in my area because I live in an apartment complex but so far it's been working quite well and um, yeah I haven't had any internet issues so yeah and then also since it's a bridge I have an Ethernet cable hooked up to one of the LAN ports on the back and if I go down here and go ahead and find the cable itself uh, you can see one second 
Uh, here I have this, the Ethernet cable obviously. I can plug this into a computer, any computer, without wireless coverage and instantly get internet uh, via Ethernet uh, through that and then of course, you know, out to the main router. So that's pretty handy because uh, sometimes I get old computers in and they don't have, um, you know, internet connectivity. So yeah, it's pretty nice. So that is just a quick tour of my internet setup or my network setup. And uh, yeah, so far it's been working pretty well.